Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at the store and forward capabilities of the MQTT transmission module to explain the benefits and see how this solution is the first of its kind in the marketplace. There are many applications where having gaps in the data due to communication outage or central server issues is a real problem. Without a complete set of operational data, analysis is inaccurate and many man hours are wasted investigating anomalies only to find out it was caused by missing information. This is particularly the case in applications such as OEE and MES, compliance, AI and predictive maintenance, alarm and event recording, and in general trending analysis. This is true for most industries, but especially for oil and gas, energy and utilities, food and beverage, water and wastewater, and factory automation, where we're seeing a lot of data analysis giving significant ROI. Just to recap, the MQTT transmission module, as highlighted in green in this picture, is installed on the inductive automation ignition platform. The MQTT transmission module takes any tags within the ignition tag tree, including complex data types such as UDTs, and transmits them to an MQTT server in the MQTT Sparkplug payload format. This enables any ignition platform, including Ignition Edge, to have its data published in MQTT, taking full advantage of the benefits it offers. In normal operation, MQTT transmission is publishing data into the MQTT server infrastructure, and all the subscribed applications are receiving data in real time. If any part of the system required to deliver data becomes unavailable, such as the communications, the MQTT server infrastructure, or the primary host itself, data is immediately stored locally by transmission. The primary host ID is a notion supported by MQTT Sparkplug. This is where a critical application, such as the SCADA HMI, has its status notified to MQTT clients that are connected in case it fails, causing the clients to initialize local data storage. The data will continue to be stored until transmission runs out of available resources on the edge. If this occurs, it would overwrite the oldest data. Once communications to the primary host is restored, first the current live data is transmitted to restore a live view of the system. And then at a throttled rate, the timestamped stored data is published and flagged as historic. MQTT Engine knows to send this information directly to the data historian and backfill all missing data points. It is very easy to enable the implementation of Store and Forward. With a few simple clicks, it automates the process for you. One benefit offered in using the MQTT Transmission Store and Forward is its efficiency, since it is only storing data that has changed with the corresponding timestamp. It is not storing the repetitive poll data that remains unchanged. Also, it follows the Sparkplug specification and can detect when the primary host application becomes unavailable and triggers the local store of data, whereas most systems can only sense that their local network is lost. MQTT transmission is not designed for large data stores being offline for weeks or months. It is targeted for temporary outages for hours or days dependent upon hardware limitations and number of tags. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We're here to help you and make your project a success. Thank you very much for your time.